Hi everybody! Heather Stargazer here to do a reading for the sign of Aquarius for Scorpio season. I'm just going to burn a little bit of Palo Santo here to kind of clear the energies and invite in the ancestors. Um, for the Scorpio season, we're asking the question for each sign, what is being illuminated and what is being transformed? <sighs> and apparently Fuzzy is joining us for your reading. For the um, question of what is being illuminated, we're using the Nicoletta Sicelli tarot on loan from my beautiful Aquarian daughter. Thank you. And then, to her, thank you to her. And um, we're going to be asked the question, what needs to be transformed from the Witch's Tarot by Ellen Dugan. Then to get a little more insight and help us along on our journey, we're going to pull a card from the Game of Storytelling by the Moth Radio Hour. Mm. Ancestors, spirit guides, what messages do you have for Aquarius, for Scorpio season, what needs to be illuminated, what will be illuminated, what messages do you have for Aquarius? Ooh, you get the chariot and the four of wands in reverse. Maybe some of you are changing homes, right? Maybe some things in places where you felt at home, right, are being being changed. There's like this idea of movement forward, of getting unstuck. This is cardinal water energy, cancer energy. It's having your head and your heart on the same page. So the direction that you're going is very fluid, easy. It's victories, right? And it could be because, um, because there's a change to how you felt about your stability, about how you felt about where it is you want to build your future or how you want to see things differently. You know, sometimes this is like considered the wedding card or like a party card with the community, you know, but it's about the beginnings of something, right? Our, our, our new life, our new home. And it's, um, maybe you're seeing something from a different angle or a different view that's got you, put you in, in a place of mobility where you're able to, you know, take, take, it's like instead of focusing on being stuck in a space and whether or not you feel at home there, now it's like this victory and in being able to move and being able to go forward. And that could be, you know, metaphorically, um, or that could be the real world. You could be having, you know, uh, this chance to go somewhere, you know, travel. Mm, that's going to be coming illuminated. That's what's coming to light. What is the transformation? What is being transformed for Aquarius? Mm -hmm. Get this fixed sign energy. I'm hearing that fixed sign energy. Mm. It is being transformed during Scorpio season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard you guys have been dealing with Pluto a lot, and then here we have King of Cups coming out here, being being emotionally available. I heard being emotionally available. You were someone else, right? Um, there's this idea of like you've you've healed long enough. You've sat in that space long enough of healing, of rest, and again, this like propellant to want to move forward because now, um, everywhere you go is your home because you are you you feel at home within yourself, and so you it's like this person again two water um, energies coming out. There could be a cancer could be relevant, cancer time could be relevant, um, but this is like the 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 good partner, right? That being um, emotionally stable, emotionally intelligent, he knows how everyone is feeling and what their emotional needs are but he doesn't really express his he doesn't feel the need he has to right he's ruling from that space of compassion of empathy of love and there's this um, ability to do that because you've spent a lot of time healing and now you want to get up and go now you want to get up and experience life and again that feeling of like um, these are like not being confined to those maybe those spaces where you felt were um at home before two fours because they did give you that stability and they did al al allow that of you but now the transformation is it's time to move it's time to mobilize it's time to get up and go towards your victory and your and your head and your heart both want those things right it could be somebody coming along to um, help you along your path here um, ancestor spirits guides what messages do you have for Aquarius for Scorpio season the aftermath someone else got this card too um it says prepare a story about consequences aftershocks and fallout the morning after indelible grins walks of shame assessing the wreckage from the storm after the dust has settled the decision to rehash or relinquish next move right and it was it was your um sister sign or cousin sign uh 
Libra that got this too, so there might be extra messages in there for you. It says, uh, tell us about a time you had to wait for the dust to settle, a time you suffered the consequences, a time you had to face the music. Mm. And I think uh, you, you've spent a lot of time looking at those things and you can you probably have a lot of stories you could tell. All right. So um, I hope that was helpful. I'm wishing you all the best this Scorpio season. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for remembering to hit like and subscribe. And thanks for coming back and seeing us again next time. Bye, Aquarius. <laughs>